Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Bias from ChichiCheckIt.com and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. I haven't decided if this tutorial is a beginner tutorial or an intermediate tutorial, so I guess you could call this a beginter-mediate tutorial? I guess? I don't know. So, anyway, a couple of days ago we got a request from one of our subscribers asking if we could make a tutorial on how to make the wavy things from one of our previous desktop backgrounds. And in case you don't remember what background he's talking about, it's this one right here. I'm just gonna give you a good look at that real fast. So these are the wavy things that he's uh, asking us to create. And it's actually really simple. So we'll go ahead and jump right into this by starting up and making a new document. I'm going to use one of my presets I made earlier today and all it is is uh, width and height of 1280 by 720 with a transparent background and you know it can be different for you depending on your desktop size or resolution or whatever it's freaking called so we'll just hit OK and we're gonna set up our background right now so with your layer selected well, hold on. Real fast, we're just going to call this black because we're going to fill this up with black by hitting Shift Backspace or Option Delete. Make sure you use black. Normal mode, 100% opacity. Hit OK and we're good to go. But to add a little bit more depth, we're going to add a little spotlight in the center. So let's make a new layer for that. Spotlight. And let's grab our brush tool and make it about 800 some odd pixels that should be about right 0% hardness I think we're good to go and with the spotlight layer selected let's just give a little right in the middle there and that looks good enough to me so we'll just go ahead and lower the opacity down to about 15% eh, ish and there we go I think we're almost ready to get started but there's one more thing that we have left you need to go to Window, Brush, and make sure Shape Dynamics is checkmarked because without this on, you're not going to be able to make the wavy lines the same way that I do. And if for some reason you can't access this, it's probably because you're not on your brush tool. So you have to have your brush tool on in order to use this brush window over here. So we'll click this to hide that up, and we'll make a new layer and let's just call this G and the reason I named this G is because I want my first line to be the color green and so let's go ahead and set up our colors real fast so I want this to be a green so 0 red 0 blue 255 green makes a pure green and then 255 blue gives you a pure blue and these can be any colors you want, like they could be the color of your logo or just your favorite color in general, just whatever works for you. Or you can just have a blue and green just to follow along. So we'll hit OK. And I believe we're ready to start now. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to head to the pen tool and we're going to make a path that one line follows and then we're going to make a different path for another line and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and start up by making one anchor point over here and then having another anchor point eh, somewhere down here and towards the middle. Just click and drag to make it curve and click and drag over here to make another anchor point and make it curve in a different way and just make a line that curves in some sort of interesting way. And when you got a good line, if you noticed when we went to stroke path we're using our brush tool as a, a base but our brush tool is this huge 862 pixel brush so we're gonna go ahead and size that down to about seven pixels or just you know whatever suits your fancy and we'll try this again swap to your pen tool right click go to stroke path and again brush tool simulate pressure and hit OK and there we go we got our green line so we'll hit enter and that gets rid of the path and just real fast I'm gonna look at my line see if I like it 
Eh, should do. In case you were wondering, uh, what I did just there was I hit the the tab, t uh, yeah, the tab key and control one to zoom into 100%, and then just tab key again, control zero. That's a little bit of a a pointer for you guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and make a new layer. Call it B for blue. And we're going to swap this around, or you can hit the letter X to swap it around. And we'll just make another line. But let's make it go kind of in a different direction and make it a little bit more weird. Stroke the path, and we'll hit OK. Hit Enter. And you're pretty much just going to keep doing this over and over again until you get something interesting or if you're uh, tired of making lines.